What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So today is just going to be kind of a chill video. We're just going to chat a little bit about where the squad's at, where uh, where my life in FIFA is at a little bit. Um, so this is actually a squad I've kind of been building, piecing together a little bit. I really just had the idea like, I want Messi and Ronaldo in the same team. And then we kind of built off of that idea. So um, somebody in the comments on my other video, let me just real quick find... Uh, who it was forgive me for looking away for a second comments um, FIFA Israel Lior I believe um, hopefully I'm saying that right um, wanted me like do a, a, a video showing off my squad I, I hope I'm understanding you right anyway but so I am gonna show you my squad and this is probably the best team I can make right now now I hate this Blanc card I actually sub him off um, but in game this team looks like this let me show you guys actually i'll just go to the squad um so instead of playing with five at the back we obviously don't play five at the back we actually play um a four two three one like many many people do so four two three one where are you there you are and we put um Ribery on the left messi on the right Ronaldo up top, uh, and then we actually put DeLitt into the midfield, this team of the year DeLitt, and then Frankie De Jong over there on that side. So our fullbacks are absolutely awesome. Our center back partnership is very good. DeLitt in the midfield looks like a beast. I'm going to do a uh, review on him. I haven't actually had the chance to do that review yet, uh, so I will do that review on this DeLitt. Four star weak foot too, medium high work rates. I bought him for exactly a million coins. He's been going for less than that. Um, but you know, I just figured <clears throat> might as well buy him. I want to use him in the team provides a link to Van Dyke and a strong link to Sandro and a strong link to Ronaldo. So, uh, I thought the way the squad works is pretty cool. Cause that central Messi really lets it work that way. Um, this Ribery card, I actually love 34 games played 38 goals, 14 assists, five star, five star. He's really, really good. Um, so if I just go back to the five, three, two, we had, I, we can talk about chemistry and like why this team works a little bit. Uh, it gets a little messed up here. So we had Messi here, Reber here. Swap these two guys, swap these two guys, and then put De Jong up here. Very nice, and then it works that way. So there is actually one player not on chemistry. Um, so apologies for that. It is, um, of course, Allison. These two guys will be on full chemistry when their loyalty bonus kicks in. I have not played 10 games with Ronaldo, only six. And I've, I actually haven't played any games with this version of the uh, Delit card. So I'm actually really excited to be trying them out. Um, especially in that CDM role. I think it'll be perfect for it. You know, 85 pace. Um, I'm actually not going to give him a shadow. What I'm actually going to give him. This one might be a little bit controversial. But um, oh, I didn't fix my footpin feed yet. I really should have done that. That's all right. What I'm going to give him is actually an engine so the reason i'm giving him an engine is you'll see in a second we'll look at all his in-game stats so um he's not going to get all the stats he should get because those will actually be plus fives instead of plus fours and then plus tens instead of plus eights he does not need a boost in defense so shadow is really a waste his interceptions at 94 um defensive awareness at 99 stand tackle on 94 and slide tackle on 92 they don't need a boost likewise his physical doesn't really need a boost either because strength excuse me, he's already 99, jumping's already 96, aggression's already 93. Like, what are you trying to improve there, really? Um, pace, I'm fine with the small boost to get him from 91 sprint speed to 96. Acceleration would be nicer with a bigger boost, but I'm okay making that sacrifice, <coughs> excuse me, to get him maxed out long passing and maxed out, uh, not maxed out vision, but 86 vision, or sorry, 87 vision. Um, as well as get the crossing up a little bit. But the main point of using this chemistry style is it gets his agility from 71 to 76 and his balance from uh, 76 to 86. Also gets his ball control to a ridiculous 99 and dribbling up to 94 with composure already at 99. So it actually puts a lot of his stats up into the 90s um, in terms of dribbling. So as a midfielder, he'll actually be able to, um, you know, take the ball out of defense here and then spray passes with 99 short pass, 99 long pass. So I'm um, really excited to be using this card. This Van Dyke, I have a ton of games on. Um, how many games do I have on this Van Dyke? 403 games. Um, he's just an absolute rocket back. 
Uh, I have 345 games on this PK, so I've been using them for a while. Ramos I've been using a little bit as well, 56 goals, or games, sorry. 234 games with Allison. He's the best goalkeeper in the game. Him and Tristegan are a tier above everybody else, but I actually rank Allison just that slight bit higher. Alexandro, I've really, really enjoyed. A uh, review came out on him yesterday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and check him out. Um, Ronaldo, this is like the second time I've bought Ronaldo. Five-star skill moves combined with his height just make him absolutely unstoppable. Um, I think an engine is a good chemistry style for him too because he obviously doesn't need a shooting boost or a defensive boost. Um, so if you can boost those other three main stats, I think um, you do really well there. Hawk on Frankie de Jong is a bit of a controversial decision. But I think the rest of his stats are so good, and I don't normally use him defensively. I use him kind of as a box-to-box. -box. Um, so I think that's why Hawk gives him a really good boost there. And with the lit being more of the defensive guy, 96 defending, 95, 96 physical, um, he's going to be the guy that stays back, kind of dictates play from deep, while De Jong makes those runs further forward and, and maybe even gets a few goals. Now, Blanc is the one that actually plays Cam right now. I hate this card. I hate it so much. I've actually used it for 67 games, which is far, far too many. Um, so most of the time, if I play with this team, I will sub Rooney in or I'll sub Sal I'll move Messi into the middle and put Salah on or, you know, some combination like that. Um, just some other attacking player eventually. So this needs to be a French icon because Ribéry needs to get chemistry there. Eventually, I want this to be Thierry Henry. Um, I just don't have the coins for that right now. I have about 300,000 coins. And that is not enough to buy Thierry Henry. Um, like I said, I love this Henri card. I think a Hawk is such a good card for him because it gives him 98 acceleration with 94 sprint speed. Also gives him 99 attack positioning with 91 finishing, 97 shot power, max out volleys and penalties as well. Um, his passing's already good enough for a striker or, or, a, or a winger. Um, if he was a cam, I'd, I'd consider more of a passing boost, but we don't need it. And then his fairly weak physical actually gets upgraded. So instead of 82 strength, he's up to 87, which I feel like could make a big difference, as well as the 71 aggression turning into 81, which is good too. And then the shapeshifter Messi, absolutely awesome. Um, I'm not sure Hawk is the right chemistry style on him. Um, I feel like, again, the physical boost is valuable there. As well as the shot power boost uh, is the real reason that I like it. Um, going from 88 shot power to 89 shot power is definitely really valuable in my opinion. Also going to 99 acceleration is, is important too. Um, I've definitely often considered selling this guy to get um, the team of the group stage right winger one. Um, but he, he just works as a striker here. Um, I know I originally bought this card to do Messi's March um, series, but that just never really didn't seem like something you guys enjoyed. It didn't really seem like something I, w I wasn't really enjoying it either. It felt more like a chore than actually something fun to do. So um, I, I just I didn't go that route. So uh, maybe it'll make a return at some point, uh, but not uh, this moment. So that's my team. Um, we can uh, just use a, a little club tour as well right now. This is the guys I use on the bench. Um, Keen, I've used for a ton of games this year, 422 games. Uh, really like him as a defensive midfielder. This is my box-to-box -box midfield replacement. Only 11 games. I feel like I've played more with him. He's actually quite good. Rooney I like as well. Every time I play with him, he's always got a really high match rating. Uh, Salah, I've played 135 games with. Not a great return, but from the wing, it's not terrible. Um, and I actually really like most versions of Timo Werner. I don't love this version, unfortunately. Um, but he still is a good card. Hiro, I think, is actually a really good center back. Like, if you compare him to PK, he's got more pace and only slightly less defending. Um, so I think as a backup center back, he's quite good. And then if we need somebody to come out at fullback, I've used this card, and this Mbavu card, uh, for 80 games. And, hey, he might even get upgraded again. If he gets upgraded again to 96 pace, 86 dribbling, 85 passing, 86 defending, 93 physical, this would just be an unbelievable card. I'm really glad um, I went and did him. His pace is just so good. Um... 99 stamina as well uh, as well as Alexandra having that 99 stamina so they can really get up and down um, and make things happen so anyway that's the squad I wanted to show you guys um, who we're using uh, if you guys want to share your squads with me if you have players you want me to test out let me know uh, let me know how things are going with your squad with your ultimate team um, yeah because everybody plays this game a little bit different and, and one thing for as many complaints as there are about the game this year one thing you can't say is that there isn't a ton of players to choose from, right? There are thousands, well, let me not say thousands, let me say hundreds, 
literally hundreds of usable cards on the game this year. Um, you know, if you want to build like a, a top class competitive team, like, you know, everybody in this team is obviously very usable. Everyone on the bench is very usable, but you know, there's some tons of cards that I have in the club that are usable cards. And I love that about this year's game, because like I said, as many faults as this game has, oh my gosh, it's not even gonna let me in, is it? Oh, it's frozen. Whatever, I'll just end the video here then. But as many faults as this game has, one thing you can't say about this game is that it pigeonholes you into one team. And a lot of past games have done that. Um, so be on the lookout on the channel tomorrow for a John Barnes video. I did record that in advance. Uh, so if some of the commentary is weird, that's why. Um, but John Barnes' review will be out tomorrow. I did pack him in, uh, in another video. Go back on the channel and check that out. Um, so John Barnes' review tomorrow. And then Thursday, possibly a Pez video where we, we download our club or where we start a, a club. It's cool because it's free, to be honest with you. And a lot of people are, are jumping on that bandwagon. And, and I figured, you know, I, I don't want to be, um, not that I don't want to be left out, but I wanted to try it out. You know, maybe maybe it's a better game. I don't know. I've never really given it a, sh a shot. So uh, we are going to try it out um, on probably on a video Thursday and then big stream Friday. So make sure you guys tune in for that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of us catching up. I'm going to have to restart FIFA now. But uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you, uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. Uh, also, please subscribe if you are new here. Tons of videos coming out every single day. You're missing out on content if you don't subscribe. Um, and that's going to be it for me. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.